Hey there, I'm James. I'm the coffee educator here at Driftaway and you have stumbled upon coffee stories. <laughs> this is coffee stories for December, 2021, which means that the coffee that I'm gonna talk about is uh, one of five uh, coffees that you can start ordering December 2nd and the last day to order is December 29th. Um, I'm about to try to brew an AeroPress while I talk to you, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and this is our extra bold profile. It's actually a relatively new profile for Drift Away, um, and it is extra bold. It is the darkest roast uh, that we do. And I'm gonna just get this going and I'll talk to you a little bit about it. Um, yep, yeah, this, uh, this coffee is a Mexican coffee. It is um, from the Oaxaca region of Mexico and uh, we call it Mexico Oaxaca El Jaguar. Nope, El Jaguar, that's it, El Jaguar. Yes, Mexico Oaxaca El Jaguar or Jaguar. Um, in English, we might say Jaguar. But this is um, a coffee again from Oaxaca. It's from the Southern um, area of Oaxaca and it's actually a community coffee. Um, so it's a conglomeration of um, different farmers coffee. They all have about one to two hectares of land. Um, one hectare is about the size of a football field um, or two and a half acres. So they all have about two and a half to five acres of land. Um, and it's a community coffee from um, um, a cultural region called La Mixteca, or La, yeah, La Mixteca. And um, that's um, an area within Oaxaca that is home to the Mixtec people, which is one of Mexico's largest indigenous groups. Um, and we purchased this coffee from our importing partner, Red Fox Coffee Merchants. And I'm just going to, AeroPress takes such a short amount of time. And it's like, I hardly got to talk at all. And it is done. Points for AeroPress, you know? Um, oh, wow, look at that. There we go. Cool. So in any case, we purchased this from our importing partner, uh, Red Fox. Um, they're really great. They have a home base and lab in Oaxaca. Um, and they do a lot of work in um, Oaxaca itself. And they have their deepest um, producer relationships there in Oaxaca. Um, and so they, you know, and, and what I mean also by producer relationships, man, this is a cocktail shaker, but I'm gonna drink out of it. That smells really good. Um, so what I mean by producer relationships, you know, obviously they're looking for new coffees, um, coffees that they've bought before or new coffees um, to purchase. And so they're constantly tasting coffee. So they're, you know, um, reaching out to producers, trying to maintain those relationships so that they can buy them again year after year. Um, and yep, they um, also analyze coffee samples there at their home base. And it's also kind of a coffee lab um, and they build high quality lots like this one. So they'll taste coffee, individual coffees from individual farmers and then put them all together based on um, the same high quality and also similar flavors. So the coffees that they source um, from this area are super sweet and they're super delicious. Um, and as the extra bold profile, you know, it's our, it's our darkest roast. We roast it to what we call a dark um, level. Um, and roasting it this dark brings out an even, um, a really neat kind of um, aspect of that sweetness. Um, you know, rather than caramel, we get molasses, right? It's like deeper, a um, little bit of like a bitter kick to it. Uh, we also taste cola um, and baker's chocolate. Um, it's a super neat coffee, a great, um, a great coffee for this profile as well. So I hope you get a chance to taste it. Um, this has been the Mexico Oaxaca El Jaguar. And if you would like to find out more information about it, you can go to driftaway.coffee slash M-O-J. Um, again, we, you can start ordering this coffee uh, December 2nd, and the last day to order is gonna be um, December 29th. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say. Um, I hope you get a chance to try it again. And um, this has been Coffee Stories. I'll see you next month.